Greetings everyone, Insane Dizzy here, and today we are playing Game Dev Tycoon. And this game is by Green Hearts Games. It is an indie game, and it is also their first game. And I've already played some of this, and I gotta say, I love it. I mean, thanks to these guys, you know. I think all of us kind of want, wanted to be game developers when we were younger and everything. And now it will be thanks to this game, it's possible. So we're just gonna go right into it. Now hopefully we don't run into my bad look. I did play through this to like year 13. And unfortunately I went bankrupt. <laughs> it always seems to happen at year 13. I don't not know why. But we're going to give this a try again. Hopefully we can get to year 30. If not, you know, we just fail. So, you know. Even though my hair is not that long, I mean, shit. Yeah, uh, well, we're just gonna go with that. Anyways, when I was younger, in high school, that is, I had this whole idea I was gonna be a game developer, and my industry is gonna be called Insane Games, so I'm gonna go with that. And of course, oops. My typing is not the best, people, so bear with me. And we're going to do that, and we're going to go right to developing the game. Now, we don't have the topic I want, but if this is year one. Let's go with, a, you know, just go simple military strategy on the PC. I mean, what? Nothing can go wrong with that. Let's see, what can we name this? Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Oop. Warfare lag attack. <laughs> If anyone gets that reference, you know what I mean. And you know what? We're just going to go ahead and go to 2D graphics. You know, I'm not going to even start with text space. I'm just going to skip text space and go to 2D graphics. And this is a strategy game, so we're going to go with high on the gameplay and engine, I believe. This is so fun. <laughs> And a little bit of dialogue, you know, for when you click on your soldiers to move them around, you know. And, yeah, let's get basic sound. You know, I feel it needs basic sound. A little bit on world design. That should be good. Normally before I used to put sound and graphics all the way up, but it is what, like, um, late 80s, early 90s, kind of, so sound and everything wasn't that great back then, so. New topic, new combo, great combo, and we'll release our game. Fresh reviews for Warfare Lag Attack, huh? Oh, you know I'll take a six for our first game. Quirky but good. Falls a bit short. Oh come on. Shows potential. Yeah, I mean six six five six. I mean pretty average, I guess. From what I, what I read in the magazines, everything's supposed to be rated that now. How certain games got tens, I don't know, you know. But, huh. I have 12 fans. Look at that. Let's see, uh, research. What I kind of do is, every time I finish a game, I research a new, um, 
what is it, theme, genre, whatever. And then I keep saving up to what the big thing I need. And the big thing right now is getting a custom engine. Make sure we have enough money for said custom engine when we're ready to make it. So 10k units. It's an important milestone in the history of insane games. Awesome. Fancy. And we're going to go ahead and develop a new game right now. Oh, uh, fancy. And we're going to do an RPG on the... Let's put on the G4... G64, my bad. <laughs> right now. Now, I'm probably too young for this, but I don't remember the G64 or anything. So. And. Any of my friends watching this, real life friends, will get this reference. Because this was the name of the game that I was working on. Even though, you know, obviously, I'm not a game developer. And let's go. List on the engine. And this is still very early, so story and quest don't need to be all that important. I don't know how this game acts towards the year base, but you know. And now I see a lot of playthroughs when I'm doing RPGs and they don't do that much AI involved. I'm thinking why wouldn't you do that, you know? AI is like boss fights and everything, you know, you kind of want a little bit of artificial intelligence in there for your RPG games. And it is an RPG, so we do want some world design in there. And we're kind of going to balance this out a little bit because I think a good RPG is, it's world design and sound and graphics. I mean, graphics not so much of an issue, but we're going to keep it up just in case, you know. To me, what really catches me in the RPG is the sound. I mean, you gotta have good music, good boss fight music, and everything. Warfare lag attack is now off the market. So, 12k units generating 90k in sales. That's good. That's good. Now I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yep, and that's why we just released the game for it. And new record, new topic, new combo, great combo. And of course we level, getting some level ups. Let's see, touch the darkness come in. Oh, ah. Uh, let's get an average review. I guess I'll take that. Yeah, there's a seven there. Of course, thank you, Game Hero. Good game. So, like a 7.6, maybe? Let's just check game history. Well, 6.75, you know. Even though I had like three sevens and a six, you know, I don't understand that. But, alright, whatever, well, you know. And let's research a new topic real quick. Yeah, topic. Mm, Safa. Contract work, we're not gonna do that till you know we can actually train him up because you know it's kind of risky early on. But basically, contract work is you can do these little missions or whatever, and if you don't finish it in time, you get a penalty, and if you do, you get money, you know. So, and we're gonna go ahead and develop a new game, we're gonna go with the sci fi strategy game, you know, those are cool, right? I mean. Starcraft 2. Just saying, just saying. And what are we going to call this? Mm. I creativity ain't what it used to be. So you just grab like a random object and name it after that. There. Let's see, um. Cyber Vortex, how about that? That sounds cool, catchy, right? Wrong? You know, 
<laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna go with that. Go two D graphics. For the most part, I'm gonna try to stick with two D graphics. You know, well, like, I don't know what it is about two D graphic games. But like, um, we're gonna have a little story and quest, and that's lower game engine some, so we can have more focus on gameplay this time. Now, I'm thinking that is what our strategy games are lacking is more gameplay. Oh, not gonna even waste our time with them. Mm -mm. They're just gonna screw our fans over in the future, so we're not gonna even worry about them. Bit of a reference there, both from the game and from me. And ain't I? We want AI and level design to have a balance. There's nothing more important in a strategy game than the AI. You don't want AI just running aimlessly around in circles or whatever like most players on Call of Duty do. Yeah, that was a pun. A bad pun against noobs, but... Oh. Uh, yeah. And I believe we need a few more to make our game engine. So what we'll probably do, oh, bugs. Oh, why are you doing this to me? Finish. New topic, new combo. Great combo. And we got a bunch of level ups on engine gameplay. Level design of this strategy game looks real good. Cyber Vortex. Oh, it's gonna be a flop again. Now, mind you, when I was playing the demo, all my games were getting tens and crap. I don't know if they do that deliberately to make you feel good in the um demo, but I was doing real good when I was playing the demo. And let's see, I don't think we have enough to get custom engine not yet, but. UFO. Yeah, let's get UFO. Blah. Blah. Nah, we're not. We're not getting that. Mm -mm. Not gonna even bother with the license on that one. Oh, I was a Sega guy growing up, so you know. So you might get a bit of a variety from me on this. You know, I know m most channels take the other way. You know. If they want to go that way and support the fan hating company, oh well. You're probably thinking, oh, you have a lot of grudge against them right now. Yes, I do. I had about 20 videos of old classic games set up. So, yeah. That just went boom down the drain. I'm going to do a UFO action game. And we're going to make it, um, what is it? Hack of the space. Tech of derpy duck. That sounds good. Tech of derpy duck. <laughs> Next, then we're gonna do two D graphics. And. Even out gameplay in the engine and less on story and quest because it's an action game. And if y'all remember back in the day, especially on the Sega and stuff, there wasn't much much dialogues or anything. But the AI was like crazy, but we're gonna kind of lower it and get better level design. All my games seem to have a theme. There's no story or <laughs> anything. Real design, we probably don't need to worry about too much. And... The up sound a little bit. Just because, you know... UFOs, you want good sound. What? Attack a derpy duck. That don't even make sense. I was watching a cartoon a while ago, and there was like an alien chicken thing, so... Don't... 
Judge me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and finish. Another great combo. Man, I'm doing good. Let's release game. Come on, Derpy Duck. Oh, oh, I saw 10. Eight. Oh, yeah. Derpy Duck came to save the day. Oh, come on, seven. Inform Gamer, come on. Don't be such a critic. Eh, I'll take that, you know. Here come the sales. I'm going to go ahead and research custom game engine. I kind of hold off to make my own custom game engine until we get more like stuff to put in it. And for now, we seem to be doing good without it, you know. We're not doing too bad. Search custom game engine. Gamepad is now available. We probably don't have enough yet to research gamepad. Hmm. I don't even have enough to research a new topic, so. Game history, Attack of Derpy Duck. Are we ready for a sequel for Tides of Darkness yet? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think so. We're not ready for that yet. Develop a new game, pick topic. Hmm. Let's do a medieval strategy game. How's that sound? And we'll put it on the good old PC. And let's see. What should we name this? Hmm. <sighs> Chill, guys. This is really important, okay? <laughs> Again, I'm just kind of just looking at random stuff on my desk right now to come up with a name. And I have a Yu Gi Oh deck sitting here and something else in here. <laughs> um, and we do kind of want a little story and quest, you know, single player campaign. Uh. And uh, looks good. Let's get a little dialogue in here. AI doesn't need to be over the top right now. Even though I feel in games nowadays, AI has kind of taken a drop. I mean, come on. You know, someone like me can beat Halo Reach from Legendary, I mean. See, Attack of Derpy Duck is now off the market. It's so 23, uh, almost 24,000 units generating 167k sales. Real good. Derpy Duck. There's definitely not to be a sequel to Derpy Duck. And. Finish. Well, great combo. All right. Come on. Fresh is Come on, homeboys. Ooh, I saw a 10. Eight. We'll take that eight. Seven. Blah. And. I'm gonna get five. You know. We're not doing too bad for the start of this um, research. We want the gamepad. Mm. 
Now, something I've noticed with the gamepad on here, and I don't think a lot of the other people have noticed that from what I've seen watching their videos. When I have an engine with the gamepad for a console, and I put the gamepad on there, my games seem to do a lot better. Now, I don't know why that is, but it just does. Ooh, airplane. Oh, I know what we're making next. Oh, we don't have the joystick yet. Right, we're going to hold off till we get the joystick. Yeah, I'm sure it has. Playing with the controller is a lot. Now, I used to agree with that. That playing with the um, controller was a lot better than the keyboard. But I've been getting more into PC games here lately. So, yeah. And, you know. Now, what can we do? Hmm. Let's do a space adventure. And we're going to do. Hmm. Let's see, kind of just looking around. Oops. There we go, Jim the Derpy Duck. That is going to be our sponsor. Our kind of like character that we're going to build our company on. 2D graphics. That's right. Eh. Let's go up on some of the story and quest. on the dialogues our virtual intelligence down so one level design because to me adventure is also a platformer so even though platformer isn't a genre we could pick from world design sound can go down so We seem to be doing good so far. I'm, I'm impressed. You know. Yeah, it wasn't a great combo, but you know, it'll probably be a flop or it'll be a great hit. You know, Derpy Duck didn't last down the last time, so. That's going to be a flop. <laughs> yeah. Damn you, Derpy Duck. Let's see, research, new topic. Racing. I think we're to the point now where we need to make a. Don't forget to create your custom. Yeah. We're to the point where we need our custom engine now. Uh, target audience. No, it wasn't my, that my audio was out of sync. I just knew what was coming up. We research. No, we're going to go ahead and research steering wheel. And hopefully, I think through the steering wheel, you get joystick. I think, anyways. No, let's not. Let's create our own custom engine. Um, yeah, save game is important. To group 2D graphics version 2. Yeah. And we'll take that mono sound. Linear story. Hmm. Well, hold off on leaving your story for now. I'm just going to go ahead and throw the gamepad and the steering wheel on here, just so you know. And we'll call this Insanity Game Engine. <laughs> the V9. 
Cena. Master V. <laughs> I mean, Derpy Pig didn't do too bad. Not Derpy Pig, but Derpy Duck. You know, yeah. <laughs> well, mate, one more game. I'll probably end the video there. I'll probably make another video, you know. And... See, let's go ahead and do a sequel to Cyber Vortex. Alright. You want to use our new upgraded graphics? And we will get the um, license for this. And we're gonna do our racing game on that. No, we really don't need the gamepad, you know, story and stuff. We'll take kind of a drop there. You guys are probably thinking, oh, there is a pattern to your game show. Yes, there is. I'm using a pattern that I know works for a while. <laughs> AI can go up, dialogues can go down. We're gonna get mono sound this time. It's up sound. Less on world design, you know. Strategy games are more about the level than the world, so. I notice if you don't keep moving your mouse, that it'll kinda like, the game will kinda freeze up on you, but I'm sure that's me and not the actual game. And we will finish. Ooh, new records. And a bunch of level ups. Good, good, good. Level editor. Joystick. Finally got the joystick. Oh, I saw a 10. I saw a 10. Come on, another 8. Right, 7, I'll take a 7. You know what, I would take that on Cyber Vortex 2. Not doing too bad so far, you know, I mean, none of our games have been like masterpieces yet or anything, but I feel we're kind of going in the right direction, you know, even though we just unlocked Joystick and I just made a game engine. But anyways, like and subscribe, guys, you know, let me know if you want to see more of this. Actually, that was a surprising hit. Wow. Cyber Vortex 2. Like I said, anyways, guys, I'll see you later, and we'll be back next time. Later.